A wonderful fly for December into January is this little beauty here. Now, a lot of people when it comes to this time of year will be fishing lures deep and slow with a bit of lead on them giving it plenty of movement. That's great and it works very well at times. However, you do get warm periods during the day and what happens is you get a hatch of midge. A lot of people will fish a small CDC dry fly. So you've got the CDC coming out here and the hook will sit just below the surface of the water. It can work wonders. This thing for me though, I think it performs even better. The little flat profile with the hair there is the wing. It's kind of like an air fly. It's got a nice dubbed seals fur with a little bit of rat, with a little bit of squirrel body on there. Um, so it's very, very buoyant. But the key thing for me is this little post. When you're seeing fish rising in calm water, cast this fly two or three feet away from that fish and strip it back because this little post here creates a V, pushing water to either side. And it's this that will often draw a fish to take. So the fish will find your fly. Quite often when you're fishing a, a CDC part, you'll just cast out and you have to leave it there. You can't repeatedly cast in the water, hoping for the fish to come upon your fly. By using this one, this little carus with a little post, creating that V, it will draw the fish in. So there you go, one for cold water in the winter, when you see fish rising, and they will, at the warmest part of the day, try this little caddis, an amazing little fly. It's a size 18 dry fly hook. Like I say, a little bit of seals for a little bit of fox squirrel, deer hair wing, deer hair post. You can't get on. What I would say is fish it on a thin tippet because it's a small fly. You're looking at three pound, four pound. Some fishes have a, a minimum breaking strain rule. You'll get away with that with five pound. See how you get on. I'm sure that'll catch your fish come this month.